in this notebook uh, we'll see like what is merge and upset so upset is nothing but it is a combination of both the words like update and insert so just imagine that in your source we have uh, like let us imagine that it is a dimension table and we moved it to the target table so from the source we moved it to the target and on top of your source we are getting a new files we are getting a new updates uh, new inserts so how to handle that scenarios so basically we call it as a scds that is slowly changing dimensions so now we have the type 0 type 1 type 2 in this so we are going to implement type 1 that is we are going to just override the changes to our target table so by using this merge and upset statements in your delta lake obviously all the tables in databricks is a delta by default so we are going to use this merge and upset statement to implement slowly changing dimension type 1 because uh, type 1 is just to override so how the syntax works let me show you the documentation i will be giving you the link for this you can just walk through it so you can see we have a merge statement you can use it in sql and you can use it in python both let me explain you in sql so we are using merge and i'm talking about upset what does upset means so it is just a combination of both the words up and cert that is update and insert okay cool so the logic is very simple here so we are going to merge into the table so obviously we will be changing our table we are using the other table for example merge into source table uh, target table using the source table on the matching records between those two or the matching column between those two so when these columns get matched then you update it okay then you update it if they are not matched then you insert it then you insert it so very simple now let us take one simple example in excel, in excel and then we will proceed doing this guys okay so let me take an excel here So let us take an employee ID here. So like there is an employee ID one and an employee name here. So let me take name and is nationality for example, nationality. So let us take one and his name is for example John and he is from US for example. Okay, his nationality. Okay, cool. so this is our source table guys let us move this to a target table we'll first uh, like convert from data frame to a delta table from let us imagine that this is a data from data frame we created a table we just write it like save as table and we create a delta table now we got an update here that uh, this john has moved to india and we got one more employee and he is steve and now he is from us us and there is okay so what has happened here once you got a table your first record is an update we got updated the first record and your second record should be inserted 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 so we are going to use this command here that is merge and upset so it will merge it first it will go and check whether the ids are same if ids are same if the ids are matching then we will update it so it will go and check like do you have id 1 yeah id 1 is there so it will update okay john is there uh, it should be india so us will be overwritten by india and it will check whether the second id is there there is no second id then it will insert then it will insert so this statement looks or it works in this way so this implementation is called slowly changing dimension part 1 because we are overwriting it we are not maintaining the record if you are maintaining the record then we would say that it is scd type 2 so 
so we'll see how to implement SED type 2 now let us do it uh, for type 1 first and then we'll proceed so let me go back to my Databricks notebook here that is merge and absurd I'm going to implement type 1 now so I have a record now so let me copy this I have an employee details and I have a script to create a data frame it is very simple I'll just paste it to you in a chat also so employee there are two employees I'm creating a quick schema for them and I'm creating a data frame and I'm displaying it so let me do that oh, it is a python syntax guys I need to change this to python yeah my cluster is attached and I got a new data frame now so we all know from data frame can I create a table yeah you can create it like save as table you can do it or uh, instead of that I can create a view and then write it to a final table so we have seen what are the views and how the view can be created by the data frame so I'll just use df dot create create or replace temporary view okay so let me write this as a source view I'll call this as a source view it is a python syntax guys I need to change this to python person python let me run this yeah so your view is created let me see what is there inside that view so let me take select I'm just creating a view for like a staging so I want to make a changes in the view and then I'll update that to a table so select star from that view let me check I should get two records in that I should get two records in that yeah cool I can see that now if you ask like can I uh, like on this top of from this view can I create a table yeah you can create a table again from this view you can create a table now we got a view so I need to merge this or I need to copy these records to my table to my table do you have a table now like I do not have a table now so I have to create an empty table and then I'll merge this so my second step would be to create a table after I create a data frame I created a view this is just like a staging layer and then I'm going to create a table now so I would recommend using a SQL syntax to create a table in a simple way create table I'll call this as an employee table and then I'll start writing these column names so I'll use this column names employee ID it should be an integer let me do it here then I have a first name first name string type then you have a last name then it is a string type then let me type a salary it is an integer type then nationality it should be a string type okay so now I am not specifying any location and so on guys let us keep it simple a managed table but if you want it to be a unmanaged table or external table you can give a location there okay so we'll focus on this merge and upset first cool so I got an employee table with these records so I'll just show you what is there inside this so I'm just using select star from employee table and you should get query return no results because there is nothing inside this now my first thing is I want to move these all records to the employee table so I can call employee table as my target table and my source view it is a virtual table it is a view but you can call this as a source table this is my target table guys so to implement this SCD to merge this I'll be using the same script from here so I'll copy this I'll give you the link for this guys I am picking up it from the delta.io and then there you get an option to go for the merge and upsert into the table using merge so I want to update and I want to insert let me copy this old script from here and come back to my Databricks notebook I'll paste it here okay so obviously the tables are not same let us uh, do a quick changes here so my target table name is employee let me put a employee here Oh, let me cancel out this
yeah let me change this here and I, what I'll do I'll just do an aliasing guys I'll just write it as target and using the source view if you remember we changed it to a source view and I'll just name it as source okay now on which column it is matching obviously it is an employee ID so what I'll do I'll just specify target target dot employee ID is equal to source dot employee ID employee ID okay cool so you can understand that we are uh, matching the column records if these columns are matched match then you update it if they are not matched you insert it you insert it so obviously in first scenario it will not match so it will insert what all you want to insert guys I, in, I want to insert all the column names so starting with employee id let me write it completely from here guys let me take this all let me paste it here I don't need a data type here let me change this I want to insert all these columns columns values with what you want to insert with all the same values like I want all this so let me change this quickly yeah it is done so if you want you can specify target and source but now let us keep it simple now this will insert if it is matched just in case like what we are going to do in the next scenario we are going to change the Scots uh, or John's uh, nationality to India and we'll create one more record so we want to update it so in that case this uh, when the records or the employee is matched we need to update it so what you need to update it so let me cancel out all this and if the column ID is matched then you need to update target dot first name column first name column to source dot source dot first name column okay the column names are same in both the cases guys so let me copy this paste it for three columns so uh, first name I want to update the last name just in case if you change the last name salary it want to update a salary also and nationality also nationality also yeah I think everything looks fine now let me quickly check it so merge into employee table as target source view as source so you can see I'll show you in the source we have two records and in the employee table we do not have anything so we are going to use a merge statement uh, to merge it into the employee table by using the source on the these columns when matched you update these all when not matched you insert all this so let me check execute this and oh there is an error here let me check what is that error let me try to figure out I guess this commas need to be removed now let me execute this yeah it works now yeah it got you can see merge operation started and just try to understand how it is working on the delta also guys in delta you can see that one new operation is happening that is merge and you can see two number of rows got affected so what I'll do I'll just copy this I'll run it in a new cell because you should know that at the beginning there were no records and now we got two records inside that it got inserted wow it got inserted this has happened now now what I'll do I'll just go back I'll copy this whole syntax and come back now I'll change few things here okay I'll change few things like I'll change the John's nationality to India and I'll change the nationality for Scott to US okay I changed both now if you want you can insert one record also you can if you want you can insert one record so let me copy this I'll just put a comma and paste it here and let me write a number three like a Steve and let us take it in from UK so this two should be updated and this should be inserted 
so i'm not changing anything guys i'll keep it as it is i'll just execute this my new data frame will be created now you can see that new data frame with three records two is already there but nationality is changed but third is uh, steve that is from uk so now again i am following the same procedure i'll be creating a view from that so i'll just copy this i'm i'm creating a view from that data frame and it is just like a virtual table so we already covered in detail what are views so now i am going to run the same script here guys i am going to run the same script because now there are two records that are matching and one record that is not matching so one will be inserted two will be updated let me execute this now let me execute that and once yeah it got successfully executed there's no error you can see three got affected two update one insert wow and i'll now use this select star from the employee table in a new line and show you the quick difference let me execute this and you would see the difference here john is from india scott is moved to us steve got inserted to uk so whatever is happening everything is recorded guys in because it is a delta table so you can just write describe history on the employee table let me execute this and you can see the detail history of that table first would be create table yeah we have created table with empty record then we have merged it again we have used the merge operation cool so this is how we have used upsert by using a merge operation and implemented scd type 1 thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like the content so if you like it please subscribe to my channel please like the video share it with your friends and keep learning thank you once again see you in the next video guys